In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create three gradient options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here, I've created this gradient kind of a wave shapes and you can add some three options with the icon, the title and the detailed text. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. So this is how it works. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any dark color background for that right mouse click go to the format background under fill select the solid fill and the color I'm going to choose the color which is using the eyedropper i'm going to use this color which is the dark purple color click and it will apply on the slide background the next thing which you need to do is go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle at the bottom of the slide you can see here all right and then shape outline make it no outline then right mouse click edit points you can see there are four points here let me just zoom out there are four points available so i'm going to add two more points here so exactly bring the cursor on the line or the border right mouse click and add point and here also the moment i'm bringing you can see the cursor is changing all right again right mouse click and add point the next thing which you need to do is select this one and make as a smooth point and this also select and make this as a smooth point all right now you can see here you can just play with this all right so you can make it something like this whichever way you want okay you can see here I'm, I'm going to make kind of a waves okay then i'm going to select some a gradient color already i have put the color so using these color combinations we'll use that one so i'm going to select the gradient fill and i'm going to use two stops only if you have got four stops just delete and keep it two only so first step i'm going to select again go to the color eyedropper i'm going to choose this color which is a pink you can see here and then the direction i'm going to start it should come at the top here okay then the second one i'm going to select the color using the eyedropper i'm going to select this a uh, kind of a, a plum color so it looks something like this you can see here now the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to add few more uh, waves okay these shapes so i can right mouse click and just press ctrl d to duplicate all right and i'm going to give a different color combination this color and this color combination all right so you can see here these two color combinations i'm going to increase the height of this one i'm going to put it here and i'm going to send this two back now this both looks same actually so what you can do is you can just change the shape of this all right so right mouse click again edit point for example if you like to delete one point again bring the cursor on that particular point and just say delete point so it looks something like this so now i'm going to reduce the size here and i'm going to increase the size here you can see here again it there's no restrictions whichever way you want you can see here i can make it like this also all right so this is my second wave design all right so let me just make it more curvy right now the next one i'm going to make one more press ctrl d to duplicate here i'm going to use a solid color the solid color which i'm going to use only this one okay you can see here this is orange color again right mouse click before that one send this to back right mouse click edit points and here i'm going to bring this down you can see here and i'm going to increase the size here so different ways you can play all right and here also i'm going to make it and i'm going to add one more point here right mouse click add points you can see here i'm just going a random shape you can just make any random shape all right so let it be like this so this is my third shape, wave again if you want to stop here you can stop again if you want to go further you can go further as well so again i'm going to select this one press ctrl d all right and increase the height of this and for here i'm going to use some kind of a, a white color okay so i'm going to select the solid fill and i'm going to choose some white color and i'm going to increase the transparency to maybe to 
70 percent all right and then again send this to back as usual again edit points and start changing this one so this time i would like this to go down this to go up you can see here and here also sorry right mouse click edit points and then you can see here i can just bring this down as well so this is my third wave again there's no restrictions at any of uh, the size or shape you want you can just make it okay <clears throat> and the last one again the last one with the help of the rectangle i'm going to make it you can see here shape outline no outline again gradient fill the gradient fill i'm going to use these two colors now which is this color and the other color which is here okay so this time the direction i'm going to change to like this all right and then send this to back and again you can right mouse click edit points and start playing with this sorry right mouse click edit points and then you can see here it looks something like this all right so i have done with that one again if you want to edit any point of time i would like to edit this one right mouse click edit point and i'm going to delete this one simply i can just delete this and then i can just reduce the size here so it looks something which is this curve shape okay so you can see here we have completed the different designs whatever we need the shapes again there's no restrictions this can be changed or any other color okay depending on the requirement so the next step i'm going to make a three options or four five six depending on the requirement so here in this example i'm going to make three options so select the rounded rectangle draw a rounded rectangle here and make it less curve you can see here shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to drag this one by holding the control shift key and again drag it control shift key now this is going above the slide area so i'm going to select these three objects press ctrl g to group it hold the shift key reduce the size okay if you want you can increase the height also then once this is done right mouse click and group ungroup now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the color which i have used here the same color it has to come here okay for that i'm going to the home format painter and click here so you can see here it, uh, it the gradient colors are appearing for this particular shape the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one i'm going to make maybe 70 percent transparent and here also maybe 60 percent transparent so it looks something like this now for this one i'm going to select and i'm going to click here again this will, will be like 70 percent and here maybe 40 percent let's see we can just give some different color combinations and here also i'm going to use the color of this blue and i'm going to put it here and again i'm going to make it 70 percent and sorry 70 percent and 50 percent you can give 70 percent also not a problem so you can see here i've added this one and if you want to give a kind of a white uh, you know glowing effect you can also do that one for that i'm going to duplicate this one bring it here now one stop i'm going to select and give it a white color and the second also i'm going to give a white color okay now for one stop i'm going to make it fully transparent okay and you can just change the direction you want whichever direction you want this direction or this you can see here all right let's keep this direction and this also i'm going to make it somewhat you know you can see here i can increase it and here let me just make it more white all right and then i'm going to put it something like this here and send back so it looks something like this you can see here some kind of a shadow effect or growing effect you can say it again hold the control shift key drag this to the right again hold the control shift key drag it to the right and then send this back okay so we end up getting a shape which looks something like this so once this is done 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert some icons go in to insert icons and choose some relevant icons in this case I'm going to choose some random icons just for the example purpose so maybe I'm going to use the apple this one and uh, maybe some kind of uh, this and click insert reduce the size to 0.7 and graphic fill I'm going to fill this with white all right I'm going to put it one apple here we can see here control Z I'm going to put one here and one here then go to insert text box add the title again this will be white font and choose any font of your choice maybe century gothic make it bold again go to insert text box equals lorem within bracket one and delete the unwanted text reduce the size and i'm going to paste it here so now let me just copy both this and drag and drop again drag and drop here with the help of the control shift key all right so you can see here now once this is done i can select this one and press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one group and this also i can select i can make one group and this also select and make one group all right so now what you can do is either you can use uh, some uh, basic uh, animation effect of this one all right so for example what i can do i can just select this one duplicate the slide all right so let me just delete this one i don't need here so the first slide i'm going here i'm making this up all right you can see here i'm going to make this up above the slide area and this also i'm going to bring it down all right then here I'm going to make this as a morph slide so you can see here it comes something like this and then the duration I'm going to set to one second okay so now how it looks is when I click it comes something like this you can see here all right or if you don't have this morph transitions what you can do is you can use some simple uh, fly in effect also you can do that one so let me just show you duplicate this slide all right now what i'm going to do is first of all for this no morph none should be there here i'm going to make it fly in Let's go to the animations fly in you can see here fly in if you want from left from right center whichever way you want go to the animal enable the animation pane and for this also i'm going to make it fly in okay you can see here maybe i've one more is not selected all right fly in okay and this should happen with previous so this is without the morph transition so when i click it comes something like this you can see here so depending on the requirement if you are if you are using the latest version you can use the morph transitions or you can use some basic animations to do this particular slide 